this is my final attempt at doing this video but hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new i'm amy i am currently pregnant with my third baby my first little girl i am 30 weeks plus one day so i was 30 weeks yesterday this is my 30 week bump update i haven't really done much pregnancy videos this time around but it's been so busy my four-year-old's in full-time education my two-year-old's in preschool, so if I'm not doing school runs or cleaning, I'm food shopping or I'm doing this or I'm doing that. So it is very, very hectic. I am now 30 weeks pregnant, which I just think is crazy that I have 10 weeks left until baby girl's due date. She is due on the 1st of December 2024. She could come early, she could come late. My oldest come 13 days early and my second come on his due date. So you never know. Like she could be late because I've had one early one on time. She might be like, yeah, well, I want to be late. You know, I want to make my appearance late. <laughs> but um, I don't really know what to update you on. I probably say that every single time. I feel like I've had Braxton Hicks. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I feel like I've had Braxton Hicks because sometimes I get like the pain of like contractions, but they're not contractions. It's a really weird feeling, especially in my back as well. I get that kind of a pain quite a bit. So I had a growth scan done um, at 28 weeks, so two weeks ago. So the reason I had the growth scan was because she was measuring slightly small at her 20 week scan. Her head was measuring small and like some other parts were measuring small. So they gave me a growth scan at 28 weeks. So I went for the growth scan and she was measuring absolutely fine. She was dead on two pound and that was at 28 weeks. So I've estimated it. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. And I know the scans aren't always right with the weight, but I've estimated her to be like between like high six pound to seven pound. So like six, eight to seven, two. That's what I've estimated it myself. Obviously, I'm not a professional, but I've looked online how much babies on average put on per week from like 28 weeks to 40 weeks. And that's what I've kind of worked out. So that is like an average size newborn as well. So not too small, not too big. I am scared to have a really big baby because my oldest was £7.1 and my youngest boy, he was £7.6. And they get bigger apparently like a lot of people have said that their babies get bigger each time so far that is the case for me even though my oldest was 13 days early so if he was to come he could have been bigger than my second it's weird how it works but they also say that girls tend to be smaller than boys they say that an average for a boy is between seven and seven seven like seven pound seven and for a girl it's like seven pound two like that's like the average um obviously that's not the case and a lot of people have different size babies let me know how many weeks your baby come and what was their weight and if your babies if you have more than one if that's brody <laughs> if your baby's got bigger or smaller the more you had or you know because i'm really nervous like i don't want to be knocking out some nine pound baby but i am about to show you my bump which is just crazy so i don't know if you can see that's my bump let me like pull my trousers up and then so there there she is so i am i don't know if you can see i'm 30 weeks it's a very weird shaped bump i'm not gonna lie to you like um the boys didn't look like this she's very low it's like a pear like this honestly looks like a pear shaped bump but that is my pregnancy bump a lot of people comment on the size of my bump and say you don't even look pregnant let alone 30 weeks pregnant or where is the baby where are you hiding this baby but i had the babies more in my back <laughs> that's where they are and she's also very low so like her head's like in the is it pelvis pelvic something like that so she is very very low so that could be why i'm smaller as well she's always been quite low and I've got an anterior placenta. I'm not sure if that affects the size of your bump. I'm not a professional. But I did think maybe where I have an anterior placenta, I look much smaller or something. With the boys, I didn't have an anterior placenta. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Anterior, anterior <laughs> placenta. 
and I'm small now. Like this is the smallest I have been with all my pregnancies. This is the smallest. Brody was the second smallest. And then Jaden, I was the biggest. I was the biggest with my first baby, like that's mental. But it's really weird because even though my bumps got smaller with each pregnancy, their weights got bigger. So that's another reason why I'm scared. I'm like, she's gonna come out nine pound, isn't she? She's gonna shock everyone. Like, I don't even look pregnant and I'm gonna give birth to a nine pound baby. Like I am so scared to give birth again as well. Literally my first birth, it wasn't traumatizing or anything. I was in labor for three days with my first, but I was in pain, but it wasn't that bad. My second baby on the other hand, he was a lot quicker. I was in labor for less than a day. I went into hospital and had him the same day. Like he popped out in that water. I had a water birth with my second. He just popped out, like he was out. <laughs> but the pain was the worst pain I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. Like, here they've started drilling in my garden now. They're fixing the garden up. And now Brody's side. <laughs> I've tried to do this video at least, at least four to five times. Like, I've tried. I'm gonna have so many like copies of this on my phone. Um, I haven't got my hospital bag sorted yet. I've got her coming home outfit. It was actually my outfit when I was a baby. I have her coming home blanket, which was mine and my siblings coming home blanket my great nan knitted it and it was also my boy's coming home outfit <laughs> so i'm gonna use that for the baby i think i have i have clothes absolutely sorted don't need no more clothes i just need to get the buggy a moses basket a breast pump like the you know important bits <laughs> that you need when you have a baby but apart from that there's nothing else to really update you on but if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and keep yourself notified for future video. I did want to do pre-pregnancy clothes because I know everybody liked them videos before where I try on pre-pregnancy clothes. But I'm still wearing my pre-pregnancy clothes apart from jeans. But I think a video would be boring wearing jeans. Like, just trying on jeans. But anyway, adios amigos. <laughs>